And we also have Victoria Griffith on the program and mm -hmm. she's a mindset coach. Yes, and empowerment specialist. Mm. Um, looking forward to her workshop. She's looking, she's going to be covering confidence. And there's a lot of times where we don't actually want to embrace a new change because of lack of confidence. Mm. And, you know, it just takes a little few tweaks sometimes. Sometimes we think something that we want to do is so massive and it's daunting. And sometimes it just takes a little tweak within us to realise that we're actually empowered to do that. Yeah, yeah. and I think um, what she will do also is just bring a lot of clarity about mindset. Yeah. And I think sometimes we, we use that term a lot, but don't really understand what it means mm -hmm. about changing you know, our, our paradigms, changing our perspectives, changing the things that are triggers in the way in which we respond to certain situations in our life. So she's going to be you know, something which I think a lot of people are going to take a lot of value from. Absolutely. Um, and that actually leads on to the next trainer. They're actually both on the same session. Um, Penny Beer. Mm. Penny Beer is a life coach and what I find really interesting about the topic Penny is going to be doing is gratitude. Gratitude, right, yeah. yeah. Sometimes we get so bogged down into what's not going right um, and the impacts things have on us that we actually forget to be in the present mm -hmm. and we forget to find the things that actually empower us out of the situation you know, yeah, or yeah. you know in your whole day from when you can start working on changing the way you think about things and the way you interact with things and finding the goodness out of something then your outlook changes mm -hmm. and the way you respond to it changes yeah, yeah so it's, it's like seeing you know a glass half empty or a glass half full. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we do need to pause, stop, and you know just reflect on the positives or the good things that are happening in our lives, and not all the things which sometimes we have no control over, yeah. and we feel are having too much of an influence on our life. There are so many things which I think we do need to say. You know what? I'm really grateful or appreciative of in my life. And that, you know what, when we start to do that, we could probably see that things probably aren't as bad as we expect them to be or think them to be. Yes. But in fact, we're probably blessed because these things are happening in our lives on a daily basis. Yeah. The other thing I think about gratitude and is it will, and the confidence as well, the two workshops in the same day, is sometimes we have anger triggers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because something either upsets us or we didn't like the way someone behaved and you know mm. and I think sometimes it helps us to reflect on what's happening and you start to maybe take a step back and think how else could I respond or yeah. what message is coming to me what am I getting mm. out of this mm. Mm. you know because I personally believe when things happen to us, sometimes they happen for a reason. Yeah. And what is that reason? What's that lesson to help you move forward? So sometimes gratitude, um, I believe, uh, can be a little bit like that, mm -hmm. where you start to reflect on something and think, you know what? I actually, it was a hard situation I was in, but I've actually got to give thanks to that situation, you know, for where I am now. Mm. Um, it's basically taking the learning out of it because a, a negative situation, can be challenging, it can be mm. traumatic, but to turn it around and make it a positive thing is to try and find, well, what can I learn out of that? You know, could I have done something differently? As you said, could I have reacted differently? Mm. And by doing that, then it makes you that much more of a, a stronger person and more able to deal with a similar situation in the future, other than reacting in the same way, which is gonna be a more negative response. So that I think that program, that part of the program is going to be definitely. going to be definitely enlightening. Looking forward to that one. Yeah, definitely. Personal growth. Personal growth, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it. Mm. Not forgetting us two. Yes. Well, what are we doing? there's yourself. I think uh, what you bring to uh, the learning to let go is obviously key. Being the, the, the keynote speaker and being your your program, I think you speaking about breaking negative cycles is going to be an absolute barnstorming program. I'm looking forward to hearing about that.
Oh, I'm excited. The, the Learn to Let Go program has been going since 2012. Mm. And what is wonderful about it is bringing a selection of different specialists uh, from and the experiences and techniques that they have and enabling people to be able to implement nuggets into their life mm. on that day. Mm. And that's basically where I actually open up the training and it's about encouraging people to embrace their healing journey and to break negative cycles. And to be able to do that, you might need to make a few changes in your life to pre prepare yourself for that journey. Mm. Yeah? Mm. And be open about it as well. So what I will be doing is enabling people to have the techniques that they can actually implement straight away mm. into their life. Mm. So I'm looking forward to it and I love this program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you humor, humorous. Well, you know something, without, you know, probably overplaying it, I think I've got a really, really good mm. spot on this program because after hearing from all these speakers, I then get to address this fantastic audience mm. and pull everything together and say to them, now that you've learnt about how to make these changes and picked up so many different tools, what I'm going to be doing is sharing with them how do you then make positive and incremental steps towards the life that you really want to design for yourself yeah. because it's excellent to hear about breaking negative cycles it's excellent to hear about how to um, embrace relationships which are mutually beneficial for you and the other person but now once people are have started that journey and got a little bit of momentum in their lives it's great then to try and pull all that together and say, okay, what's the goal? What is the plan? And how can we keep on track to meet those goals that we set for ourselves? Because we all are on a journey in life and we all are seeking to be happy. And I think the only way to really be happy is to be fully in control of your life, fully in control of your destiny mm -hmm. and not allowing external influences really you know, dictates you where you want to go. Yeah. So once we've got that momentum, once we have, you know, we've signed up to change in our lives, then really what I'm going to be speaking about and giving them tools and, and tips and instructions on is how to then keep that momentum going, to mm -hmm. keep moving forward towards the, the place where they can say that their life is now one which is completely within their hands and their destiny is theirs. And that's so important to feel in control. It is important. Yeah, this it is, is what the whole thing is about, learn to let go. Mm. It's not about breaking up and the girls. It's about mm. putting things in place that you need to mm. and moving yourself from here to you are comfortable here. Yeah. And you know, yeah. feeling in control of it all. Mm. So yeah, it's a fantastic program. Mm. And just to remind um, our listeners that it is a six weeks program. Um, sorry, a six session program that's mm. going to be running on a every two week basis starting from the 2nd of September so mm -hmm. it's an exciting time yeah um, and it's a, each session is three hours so it's a very intensive three hours though mm -hmm. you know um, you can either sign up they could either sign up for the uh, whole event which is 197 pounds or they could go for the single sessions which is 37 pounds so it's so worthwhile, it's worthwhile coming mm -hmm. yeah so fantastic buy, fantastic speakers, um, and we're all excited and just ready to be mm -hmm. adding quality and value yep. into people's lives. So that's the Learning to Let Go program, which will be kicking off on the 2nd of September at the Mary Seacole Centre in Clapham. Hope to see you there. Bye.